Today we're doing a microphone showdown on the Rode PodMic USB versus the Shure MV7. That's right, two USB pod microphones for you to choose from. We're gonna go over the features and specs, and I'm gonna give you an audio comparison at the end. Let's get it started. Hey there, welcome back. It's your boy Robert Teagarden here today with another video, another Teagarden tech review. Today we are reviewing podcasting microphones, portable podcasting microphones. We're gonna go through the Rode PodMic USB, a brand new addition in the Rode family versus the tried and true Shure MV7. Both are podcast microphones, both are portable, both are USB, both have XLR. We're gonna talk about the pros, the cons, the likes, the dislikes, and I'm gonna give you a comparison of audio at the end, so stay tuned. If you're new here, welcome. I post content on a weekly basis on filmmaking tips and the business of being a creative, so if that's something that you're into, stick around and give the channel some love. Now the Shure MV7 can be connected via an XLR cable or a USB cable. Specifically, there is a micro USB to a variety of USB connectors that come with this package. There's one for USB type C and USB type A. It also has a headphone jack for onboard monitoring and a volume control for what that looks like on the top. It's actually a pretty cool way of looking at this thing. Uh, and you have your headphone jack monitoring levels that's built into this microphone. So so again, this is a very valuable situation for me to just show up at someone's house, plug in this microphone to my computer, monitor it via headphones out of the back of the microphone, and know that I'm pretty good in terms of the audio capturing that I'm having. It also has auto leveling mode and auto distance calculator to keep the levels of your microphone consistent throughout the time that you're recording, regardless of how far away the microphone should be, which a note on that, it really should be as close to about this distance from your face as possible. If you can get it to be this particular distance, look at that, like this, right? See, boom, boom, boom. The uh, actual audio pickup and the signal to noise ratio is going to be much higher, but I digress. And it has different software in Shure Plus Motive that allows you to control this thing via a desktop and have different effects that are going into this microphone that allow you to have pre processed effects that are hitting this thing like compression and noise equalization and noise canceling and all those sorts of things. You can also choose a manual mode and have full control over your sound to adjust your gain, your monitor mix, EQ, limiter, and compressor even more. And all of this, like I mentioned, is handled through the Shure Plus Motive desktop app. Now, very similar to the Shure MV7 is the Rode PodMic USB. And this is a derivative of the original Rode PodMic, which is an XLR microphone that is an excellent economical solution for those that are looking for a podcast setup. The difference here is that you need some sort of interface with the singular XLR unit where the USB unit can plug directly into your computer and be very mobile solution. Now, very similar to the MV7, it has an XLR input. It has USB type C only out, not a micro uh, USB. Uh, and it has a headphone jack, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack with onboard audio controls for monitoring. This also comes complete with the Rode Central app and the Rode Unify, which allows you to control all different settings, very similar to the Shure for your type of compression and limiter and EQing and the sparkle that you want to put on certain things. Uh, and it has a bunch of different effects that can be triggered by Rode Central. Now the general feel and construction of these things does have a difference. The Rode PodMic USB has a much more beefy construction to it. It feels like it's an all metal construction and you can literally feel the weight if you're holding the two of these things in your hand. I also tend to like the cradle on this one just a little bit more. It feels a little more smooth and I like how big these knobs are, it feels just a little more tactile in the way that it works. I will say, however, that the PodMic USB pop filter uh, is, is fairly large and it has muffled the actual sound of my voice. Whereas the Shure MV7 has this built-in pop mic filter here, or not necessarily a pop filter, but just kind of that filter that's over the top. Um, and although the construction doesn't seem to be as rugged, rug, rig, rigged, rugged, it definitely is not something that feels cheap or dingy. Uh, the only thing is that it doesn't go past the cradle right there. Um, so, you know, 
there is that to consider, but it really wouldn't matter because you're gonna be having it in this kind of configuration anyway. Now, the price point of these two things is fairly similar. The Shure MV7 is coming in at $249 for just the microphone, whereas the PodMic USB is just under $200. I think it's $199.99. $199.99, are you out of your mind? And so the economical solution for these particular things to be able to have a plug and play solution wherever you go, a very mobile studio, you add a boom stand to that, you add maybe uh, some cabling, those sorts of things that you need, and probably under 300 bucks, you can have an incredible solution to move around and get mobile audio captures wherever you may be. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm going to give you audio samples of these two different microphones, and you'll be able to tell the difference of how these microphones sound. Now, what I'm going to do is plug them directly into my computer via USB type C. There'll be no processing at first. What you're going to hear is just the straight signal of each of these microphones. And then I will add what I typically do in terms of my signal chain of the processing effects that I use after the fact, which is compression, EQ, noise cancellation, and sometimes a de -esser. You'll see all of this in real time. Let's hop on into Audition so that you can see exactly what I've got going on. So what you're seeing now on the screen is Audition and what I have used uh, are these two tracks. This is the purple one is the Shure MV7 and the yellow is the Rode pod mic. Uh, the top track is what was used to capture the initial audio from the Fifine T669. But what you see with these particular things is that the waveform is 32-bit float recording, which means that this lower volume, these lower waveforms that were captured directly out of the microphone can be raised in amplitude or gain with no effect to the overall quality of the signal. So I can bring these up or what they call normalizing them so that they kind of sound a little bit louder and then we can hear them in real time. This is the Rode PodMic USB that's going USB type C directly into my Mac studio and being recorded into Adobe Audition. Peter Piker picked a peck of pickled peppers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, are the things I'm going to say for you to understand the audio quality. Up next, the Shure MV7. So that's straight out of the gate, just literally USB into the machine uh, and me just raising the amplitude or the gain 15 dB on a 32-bit float recording, uh, which is really the, the design of 32-bit is be able to kind of move that amplitude around without fear of signal loss. Um, I haven't put any EQ on that. I haven't put any effects as you can see right here. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the Shure MV7. Let's have a listen right now. You are now listening to the Shure MV7, which is being plugged into via USB, micro USB, directly to USB type C into my Mac studio and being recorded in Adobe Audition. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers and rubber baby buggy bumpers are the things I'm going to say for you to hear the audio quality of these two microphones. So really, again, significant. I prefer the Rode pod mic just slightly over the Shure MV7. That's just what my ears hear. But again, zero effects. We move the gain up so that it would normalize the volume so that your peaking levels are negative six dB, which is perfect for Internet usage. And so now that we have that here, let's just simply add a couple different effects to it. We'll add a parametric EQ and do a very quick vocal enhancement. I'm going to move my third note over to about a thousand. K just so I can scoop some mids out. Uh, I'm also going to put a isotope vocal denoise on here, just the base one. I'm going to go with a preset of light dialogue denoising, and we will put uh, isotope deesser on as well. Okay, so now let's take a listen back, and I'll toggle on and off the effects rack as we're listening. This is the Rode PodMic USB that's going USB type C directly into my Mac studio and being recorded into Adobe Audition. Peter Piker picked a peck of pickled peppers, rubber baby buggy bumpers are the things I'm going to say for you to understand the audio quality. Up next, the Shure MV7. 
So you can hear that there's a lot more bass, kind of more roundedness to the sound of my voice um, and it's cleaned up. Now, granted, the sound of this thing is pretty pristine. There's not a lot of, you know, ambient noise that's going on due to that cardioid pattern that we were talking about. So you're not having a bunch of ancillary noise going on, um, but a little bit of EQ goes a long way. Now let's do the same thing for the Shure MB7. I will hyperlapse through this thing so you guys don't have to see all of that. All right, so I've added the effects to the MB7. Let's take a listen and I will toggle on and off just like I did for the road. You are now listening to the Shure MV7, which is being plugged into via USB, micro USB, directly to USB type C into my Mac studio and being recorded in Adobe Audition. Peter Piper picked the peck of pickled peppers and rubber baby buggy bumpers are the things I'm going to say for you to hear the audio quality of these two microphones. So again, really a fantastic capture. You can definitely hear the difference in EQ in terms of uh, what that roundness sounds like in my voice and the way in which we approach that thing. But uh, again, really both exceptional options. There's a tinniness, a little bit more thinness to the Shure MV7 and for my ears, that's what I actually hear. But yours could be totally different. This comes down to uh, preference in terms of what you're looking for and what you want that experience to be. Now again, I'm tweaking these things in Audition after the fact both of these microphones come with software so that you can do that at source and add in your amplitude your compressions your eqs those sorts of things so that you can dial in what that sound is like in any environment that you stick that microphone in now product links for both of these microphones are down in the description below they are affiliate links but they really do help out the channel and if you haven't already checked out the other videos i've done on the unboxing of the rode pod mic usb and the rode streamer x definitely check those things out they should be linked on screen and in the description below with that ladies and germs if you like the video like the damn video if you haven't already subscribe to the channel and ring the bell for more post notifications this is t garden with another video in the can we will see you guys next week thanks for tuning in peace